the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Wet Tutorial. Today we are going to study about introduction to general pathology. Before starting this, I want to tell you about pathology includes majorly three subtopics or three sub branches. First is general pathology, second is systemic pathology and third is special pathology. But before starting this, subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon and if you like this video, give a very big thumbs up. Let's begin. So let's see what is the meaning of pathology. Pathu means suffering or disease and logy means study. So pathology means study of diseases or study of structural and function of the body in disease condition. So, in general pathology, we are concerned about the basic reaction of cells and tissue to injurious stimuli. And in systemic pathology, it is the application of general pathology in a particular system wise. And in special pathology, it is the application of basic alterations learned in general pathology to various specific diseases. Then let's see the terms which we are going to study in pathology. First, what is health? It is a state of individual living in a complete harmony with the environment or surroundings. It is a state of physical, mental and social well-being in which disease and infirmity are absent. Then what is disease? Disease basically means away from normality as this means away and ease means normal. Disease is a condition in which the individual suffer from discomfort. Then let's see illness. It is a reaction of individual to disease in a form of illness. Disease is something that need to be cured such as infection, injury, toxic exposure, cell degeneration etc. And illness is something that need to be managed such as feeling of pain, discomfort, distress, weakness, fatigue etc. Then homeostasis. Homeostasis is the mechanism by which the body keeps equilibrium between health and disease or tendency to maintain stable or relatively constant internal environment. Example, adaptation to an altered environment. Pathology covers five aspects of disease process. First is its cause that is etiology. Second is mechanism of development that is pathogenesis. Third is structural changes produced in the cell or organ that is morphological changes. Fourth is functional consequences of morphological changes that is clinical significance. And fifth is result or sequel. Then let's see what is symptoms and signs. Symptoms are those which are experienced by patient itself, example stomach pain and signs are those observations which are observed by physician or doctors, example elevation in blood pressure etc. But in case of veterinarians, the symptoms and signs are both are same as the animal do not tell what they are experienced or what they are feeling. Then let's see what is lesions. Lesions is a macroscopic or microscopic alterations occurring in tissue, cell, organ or body as a result of injury. And it is classified into four different types. First is macroscopic or gross lesions which can be seen by the naked eye. Second is microscopic lesions which are seen by the microscope. Third is ultra microscopic lesions which the lesions can be seen only at cellular level with the help of electron microscope and the fourth is pathognomic lesions. It is a confirmatory lesions which by seeing we can say the type of disease the animal is suffering from or it is the alteration that indicate without doubt the cause of the particular disease. If we see the examples, first the button shape ulcers in large intestine in case of swine fever or zebra marking of the largest large intestine in rinder pest or nigris bodies in the cell of hippocampus and cerebellum in case of rabies etc. Then let's see what is diagnosis and prognosis. Diagnosis, it is the art or act of identifying a disease with the help of signs and symptoms and also through various laboratory tests or different clinical samples and post-mortem examination. Diagnosis is a Greek word, dia means through and gnosis means to know. 
and if we see the prognosis it is the prospect of recovery as expected from the usual cause of disease or peculiarities of the case or if we say simply we can say that it is the forecast of the disease or outcome of the disease in prognosis pro means before and gnos means to know then let's see what is incubation period it is a time elapsed between the action of cause and manifestation of the disease let's see what is morbidity rate mortality rate and case fatality rate morbidity rate it is a percentage or proportion of affected animals out of total population in a particular disease outbreak mortality rate it is a percentage or proportion of died animals due to the disease out of total population in a particular disease outbreak and case fatality rate it is a percentage or proportion of death among the affected by the disease in a particular disease outbreak let's understand all these three terms with the help of example suppose the total number of animals are 100 and out of 100 animals the affected animals are 60 so the morbidity rate is 60% and the number of death among the affected animals are 30 so the mortality rate is 30% and if we see the case fatality rate it is 50% as the number of death among the affected animal is 30 divided by number of affected animal that is 60 into 100 so it is 50% then let's see what is biopsy it is the examination of tissue received from a living organism to de determine the cause of disease then let's see what is infection it is the invasion of tissue of a body by pathognomonic organism resulting in development of disease process then let's see what is infestation it is a superficial attack of any parasite or organism on the surface of the body Then let's see what is virulence. It is a degree of invasiveness of pathognomonic organism. Then let's see what is syndrome. It is a combination of symptoms caused by altered physiological process. Syn means together and drome means to run. Then let's see what is postmortem examination. It is the examination of animals after death to establish a disease that is a cause of its death. necropsy postmortem examination of animals and birds autopsy is the postmortem examination of humans here we ends today's topic stay safe and let's meet in the next video